Hello YouTube, uh, Night Hunter here, and I just wanted to explain what is the Night Raider series. I had a lot of questions about it. Uh, people didn't understand why I did that the first time around. So before I'm doing the second wave of my Night Raider series, uh, I just want to explain the pattern to everybody so it's clear for everyone. So how does it work is there's two type of people and I want to be providing content for the two type of people and it's allowing me to have more content to show and reaching out more in a way and how I do my Night Rider series is basically every week that I have a lot of free time and I can uh, record my raids and stuff while I'm not at school or at work or anything uh, because this takes a long time as a project to do uh, I don't do that every week so you guys can see through the Raider series how the team improve over a long term uh, investment. Last time I did that, we didn't have Glyph. So now with Glyph, I'm making a new one. It's a month and a half since the last one. So right down to the subject, what is this? Well, I will release a set of video that is on the left side if you look at it right here. First video is going to be all the chapter 1 run that I do. So the day that the chapter 1 launch for my guild, I'm going to record every 5 team that I use. And submit my best one. So you guys can see the best run I did this week on chapter 1 with all the team. I will do that again the second day, the third day and the fourth day of the raid. All for each chapter, every team. And I will not do voiceover or commentary uh, because it takes a long time doing the raid you guys know it's a lot of rng it's a lot of uh retry and rerun so it takes a long time for me to just record and if i fail i will retry and i need to delete the video recording so instead of me trying to explain every time i play as a live commentary and then having a unfortunate event where the game bug, uh, the game crash, or uh, there's a five skull crusher in the last wave that just messed my run. I don't want to record myself live uh, speaking about it again every time. So it's better for me as a content creator to just do it on my own and just record and select the one that i winning, if I can say that, my best score. And I show you that. So. The reason why I do that without voice and I release the video anyway is because it's aimed for players who like fast and clear gameplay. Uh, it's more for experimented players that already know what they are looking for. So if you guys play for example Goblins and you know how they work, you know what's their gear set and stuff uh, and you want to know how I play them, what turn order, what kind of situation, if I have a chance to do a healing or a steal, what do I do? You can go and look for yourself in a short video gameplay that run. So if you're looking for a Goblin Chapter 1, you go into my Night Raider first series, you go and look at the video one, you can see where they are, you look at it, it's done, you get your information and you move out. You don't have me talking about it, stopping the video, explaining every move. It's a fast and easy way for you guys to make sure that you get the how do I say that you don't get me rambling on for hours and you can get the information you want you don't have to fine tune and find in my video because I know that's one of my traits I like to talk a lot I'm not that good in English too so sometimes there's not a fluidity that other content creator has but as I practice as I make other content and video and you guys support me I'm training my English to be a little bit better and more fluid and to make it easier on your hearing and stuff. Uh, I do speak French, so English is not my natural uh, language. So fast, easy for veterans that know what they want. They go, they look, they see the gameplay, they, they see what mistake they were making. It's done. But there's also another set. And that's the other week after the raid or something when I have time to edit everything else. I'll take every gameplay here of every team and instead of doing a 5 run with every member of every team I'll specifically uh, target teams so I will do a video 1 with only goblins 
from chapter 1 to 4. Because I use them in all chapter. I'll do a Road to Rivendell, all chapter 1 to chapter 4. And with that video, it's the same gameplay as the first one. So you don't miss anything out if you like and saw the first wave. But if you really want to understand what I did, what was my thinking behind it, you go there and you can take the video like Deep Dive, Road to Rivendell, Knight Rider series number 2. And that's where I explain, well, I used that glyph, I did that, I, instead of doing a taunt with Sam, I did a something else. You guys get all my reaction, uh, and me explaining how I play the team. And that's a little bit more where I explain what I do with the future, if I'm gonna do that again, or switch a character. It's more, instead of doing deep dive video or daily content with that, explaining, well, I think that, or I do that, or whatever. I'm just showing you what I do and talk about it while the gameplay is there and it's more of a guiding and helping the more casual player that never played the team, they don't know what they are into. I explain why it's important to have that turn order and stuff like that. So it's more detail, more a little bit min-maxing if you want and explaining my reasoning. Sometimes I will say, hey, that was a mistake. What I did there in that video don't take that for account. It's a lucky shot. Uh, never happened. It's a gambler moves or something. So there's a, some information that is also good for the experimenting player or the veteran. Because sometimes you can see somebody show your 2 million raid score and you're like, oh, I'll just do that every time. But it was a lucky shot and I'm not afraid to say, no, no, don't do that. Uh, it should never happen. Like, there's some... Uh, mistakes that I did, I highlight it, I look back at it, and that's how I learn and do better in the next raid. So watching that recording, explaining my thoughts, sometimes I'm like, well, I missed that, it was obvious, I should have done that. And uh, we we kind of learning together in my second phase of my video release for the Night Raiders. So that's it for how it's working. And now before the glyph update it was really basic it was uh, only goblins only dwarf only elf and stuff but now that character can have glyph set and better plug and play option there's some team that i cannot say i'm using every chapter so these team will have a special video mention about it so if i play i, I don't know i'm shooting anything if for once I use only Mordor for a specific chapter because they're just good for that one. Well, I cannot do a wall video for chapter 1 to 4 with Mordor since I'm using them for only one chapter. But I can do a video with all the mismatch and other team that can be good situationally or with plug and play characters. So that's allowing me to have two weeks basically of content for you guys while taking a lot of time but it's not like there's a lot of content to do anyway on this game that other creator already done so that's my way of contri contributing and showing you guys what i'm doing uh, because yes i do like goblins but i also play other team i have rohan mixed with fellowship i have Torin's company i do have my misty mountain that i'm also building up i do have isengard that even if I bench them for a long time, they're still doing good in chapter 1 with the plug and play and grower and stuff. So I do other things too, just making you guys know. And that's how I can show you what I'm working behind the main focus of my channel that is now Goblin and Torrent's Company. Um, and it's about to be Fellowship 2 when I farm Gandalf. Uh, right now I'm not gearing or leveling Gandalf. Uh, I'll wait for him to be 6 star or 7 star while I do Goblins and Torrents company. And when I'm done with both team, well, I will be hoarding a lot of gear and mats and XP that I will just pump into Gandalf one day and he's gonna rise to a 6 or 7 star by there and follow my other Max, Kim Lee and Legolas. So yeah, there's stuff I'm doing on the side and that's how I can show you guys that. But it takes a long time. It's a long time of editing or voiceover. And this video is just explaining to you what's incoming in the future for my channel. So hopefully you guys follow me on that journey and you can also highlight the mistakes I make. So if I send a video in the first week 
for chapter 2, for example, and I did a mistake. Well, I can, in the second week, read your comment, learn from you, learn from what your gameplay strategy is, your commentary, your feedback, and also explain it on the second week. Like, there's a lot of high score that I did with my team that I learned from you guys that DM me and suggested me some changes and I really appreciate it so I'm open to suggestion and I do help people but people help me also so it, it's how it goes and that's my way of getting all your feedback in the first section applying it for the next one or commenting on it and we are moving on with that little series project that I'm doing with my night traders so hope you guys you enjoy and for once it's not a 20 minute video so if you made it through here with my rambling and my over explaining uh, props to you love you guys and see you on the next one ciao bye